Hello, my soccer universe. Yes, this will be a few videos in a row that I'll be posting. Uh, the Champions League draw happened this noon. Um, of course, I was watching it at work. We were all watching it. Um, but I cannot do a live reaction on, the, uh, on that one. I'm not even recorded. So I'm going to give you, you have here all the um, pairings. And I'll quickly comment on that. What am I wearing? I'm wearing, of course, Juventus, because as we'll see, I think Juventus is the winner of the draw of all the big favorites. Juventus probably got the most favorable draw, all of them. Um, I know this is not in the order that they were drawn, but still, Dortmund against PSG was the first pairing two to be drawn. I think that's already one of the biggest matchups in there. Uh, I know Dortmund is a so-and-so te team um, this time around, and PSG is one of the huge favorites. But this is Tuchel, Thomas Tuchel, who was a Dortmund coach, relatively successful even there, uh, coming back to Dortmund. His split was kind of acrimoniously, especially with the whole, if you remember, with the bomb threat and all that, that kind of stuff, and how he then went at the club leadership, how they uh, birched and whatever. It was not happy. So... It's definitely an interesting return in one of the standard matchups. And another one is happening at the same time, Tuesday, February 18, uh, Atletico against Liverpool. Um, I think it's a favorable draw for Liverpool unless Atletico um, finds its groove. And this is the one thing we have now December. It is a good two months. It is two months until we see those games. So much can happen. There can be injuries. Uh, teams can get in from it, out, out of form. What's even worse is, in my opinion, that then there's three weeks between those matches, uh, between the um, first leg and the return leg. So it is really uh, hard to say. But at the moment, I think Liverpool would be will not be happy with having Atletico Madrid, because they are a good team, but I think they will be heavily favored. Atalanta and Valencia will both be happy to play against each other. I'm absolutely sure about that, and I actually have to say, when I look now at the line, because the other one is Tottenham against Leipzig, I really would like it that one of those is switched with the Atletico-Liverpool matchup. But yeah, that's how it goes. Tottenham-Leipzig might be a sleeper in this uh, lineup, it is Mourinho against a Leipzig team that is um, kind of doing things in uh, Germany. They are current leaders and they might threaten to become champions. So not to be discarded this matchup. Then another, that was the last one that came out, is Napoli-Barcelona. I think Napoli is the only Italian team that will not be happy. As I said, Atalanta Valencia both will be happy to play against each other. Both will see their chances of advancing. Napoli-Barcelona, I think it's clearly Barcelona. And the way Nap Napoli is going at the moment. Yes, in the Champions League they play perfectly, especially against Liverpool. But can they do it against Barcelona? That remains to be seen. And then we also have a final match, rematch, the 2012 final between Chelsea and Bayern. Those have been meeting and usually ended well for uh, Chelsea. So let's see how that is going. Bayern is a little bit of an enigma. I think Bayern is a cohesive team. Um, it just needs to work a little bit uh work a little bit on the finishing at the moment, whereas Chelsea, I think they have a good thing going. Wednesday, February 26th, that's the big one. Real Madrid, Manchester City. Uh, that's the glamour matchup in that round, and one of the favorites will go out. This has the potential of being a final. Uh, I would give City the tag of the favorite now, but we have to see. And then Lyon, Juventus, yes, might be a dicey matchup under normal circumstances, but Lyon lost two important players, most importantly of them, Memphis Depay, with, I think, an ACL injury uh, for the rest of the season. Lyon is not that good. Juventus is also not that good, but Juventus should walk over. So that's my first thoughts on the Champions League draw. Let me know which matches you are looking forward to. I don't like quite the scheduling. So much there could be a little bit shuff, shuffling around. I think there are four that I'm looking forward to, and they are always on double match days. Now, maybe they did it well for the second one because there is at least uh, Manchester City against Real Madrid is its own entity. So, yeah, maybe they did it right. It's just the second match day flip there. Anyway, let me know what you're looking forward to. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me where I think I'm wrong or right, or how you think. All thing, the things will change in two weeks. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about Champions League and other stuff. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful day. Bye.